mad. It's just mad. That's, that's, the, that's the end, isn't it? It's the end. It's the end of the world, dog. Never thought it would end this way. I never thought it would end this way. I don't really know what to say to sum this up. How, how I'm feeling right now. Like, I'm feeling a lot of emotions right now, man. Don't know whether to just absolutely cry, get upset, just absolutely run like hell, but it is what it is. Uh, in my preview, I did say it was going to be hard, and it was hard. It was very hard. I mean, playing against the team where they've all you can see is four goals at home in their whole season. But I felt we should have won. We should have won. We should have won. And yes, we did put in a performance somewhat. But then when you really deep it, we had one shot on target. One shot on target. Everything was going right. Everything was going right. What the fuck? How do we bottle it? Literally, the most important game of the season. How do we bottle it? How? We played, we outplayed them. We outplayed them in both legs. I don't care what anyone says as well. No one can at me. No one can tell me nothing. We played so much better than them over both legs. And we still managed to go out. We still managed to go out. How? In my preview, I said that we need to fix up defensively. Clearly, we haven't fixed up defensively. Did you see the goal we conceded? What the hell? Bellerin, man. Bellerin. And of all people to, to knock us out with Diego Costa. I don't, personally, as an Arsenal fan, I don't like Diego Costa. If you're an Arsenal fan, you don't like Diego Costa. You don't like him. And it's just so meant, it's just so F now because Arsene Wenger, he's leaving at the end of this season. And instead of his last game being at Lyon, his home country, where he can lift the Europa League trophy, get us back into Champions League next year, his, his last home, his last game, his last ever game for Arsenal, to cul culminate his 22-year legacy at the club, is going to be away from home at Huddersfield. Huddersfield Town. Instead of in the Europa League final. It's... it's it, like... Ah... Uh, ah... Uh. It's just, I don't believe it. I just don't believe it at all. We did, didn't deserve to go out. Didn't deserve to go out at all. I, I feel like, like, we didn't even get a goal. We didn't even get a goal. I mean, like, like everything was do everything was going right. It's just, when, when it came to the final third, it's like, we kept whipping in crosses, but no one was getting onto it. In fact, there was about at least 10 crosses that went in the box within like a good minute, yeah, and literally no one got into it. Like, what is that about? What is that about? Some cro some of the crosses were actually half decent. Some of the crosses were fucking shit. Fucking shit. I mean, uh, it's just, it comes down to the fact that we just got to remember that we're Arsenal fans. Well, we are Arsenal fans. We're letdowns. They're letdowns. We, we, we always get brought up just to get let down and... It's just sad, it's just so messed up because there was so much hype, so much excitement going into this game. I was buzzing in my preview yesterday, I was buzzing for the game. In school today, like, I couldn't stop thinking about this game. I couldn't focus in school just because of this effing game. At lunchtime, I was just sitting there eating my food, excited for the game. I was with, uh, And then, just for this, just, just for this, to lose 1 0, like, absolutely just. Like, I don't know, man, because I can't say we got absolutely outplayed because we didn't. We played better than them over two legs. But two defensive mistakes has now cost us a chance of us winning the, getting into the Champions League next year, winning the Europa League next year, giving Arsenal a good farewell this year. It's all messed up now. It's all messed up. Now it just, call, now it just represents how much of an embarrassment this season has been. Because... As well as us getting into the Champions League next season of us winning the Europa League, it would have papered over the cracks a little bit because let's face it, this season has been so poor, so so poor. And now that we're out of the Europa League, no no silverware, it just makes the, it just makes the season now look absolutely bang average. Not even bang average, worse than bang average. And it went also in his last season as well. Get back to the Carabao Cup. 
finished 36 or something points behind Man City. Um, we get we come out of the FA Cup third round against Nottingham Forest, and now Europa League. We we were out of the Europa League, and it's just this one. It, it hurts the most because it was so undeserved, so undeserved. We should have won this game. Should have won it. Don't care what no one says. We absolutely played better than them. Absolutely played better than them. Don't care what no one says. But it is what it is now. It's just... I don't know what... I don't know, man. Because... It, how how can we attract players now? Next season. To come to Arsenal. When we're still in the Europa League. How? What manager are we going to bring in? What players are we going to bring in? What are we going to do next season? One thing we do need to do next season is... Pattern that defence because, oh my word, too many errors this season. Too many errors. And in the biggest game of all, I said in my preview, in the biggest game of all where we do not need defensive frailties. And again, defensive frailties catch up to us again. And now we're out of the Europa League. Bellerin, bruv, what, what were you doing? What was he doing? Come on. Awareness, bruv. Just easy stuff. He should have seen that Costa was there. He should have followed him. And that goal wouldn't have happened. That goal wouldn't have happened. And that their defence, bruv. It's just like, oh my word. How solid can their defence be? How solid? We could have put in about 50 crosses. In fact, apparently we put in about 50 crosses throughout both legs. 50 crosses and we scored one goal in both legs and we managed to go out. I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it at all. I mean, ah, uh, I'm just not. I'm not mad. I'm not mad because, like, I mean, I am mad because we're out of the Europa League. We did put a performance in, but I'm just mad at just the way we can see that goal. Defensive frailties again, again, like, honestly, like, ah. Uh, I don't even know what more to say, but as just just gonna finish up by just saying I'm gutted, absolutely gutted, absolutely gutted. Like it's the one game that I just this is actually heartbreaking. I haven't felt this way over a defeat in, in quite a long time, quite a long time because I was so I was genuinely so hyped for this game. You have to bear that in mind. It's genuinely so hyped for the game because let's face it, if we did beat a festival today. And we went into the final. We would have got like Salzburg or something. Like, come on, we would have beaten Salzburg. But no, we're out. I'm just, we're out. It's over. The dream's over. It's a sad ending to to Arsenal Wenger's Arsenal Wenger's reign at Arsenal. Not obviously, not all stories have a, a happy ending. And today is probably the most biggest example. Not everything has a happy ending. Everything. Everything ends tragic and it is what it is. Just got to live with it. Move on. Move on to next year. Focus on next year. Plan for next year. Because I mean, what is there to play for now? Like the last three games of the Premier League, I don't even really give a shit what happens. Now it's just down to just like just winning the games. Like you know, for the sake of Wenger. I mean, he he is there. Those players have let him down, man. I feel, I feel I genuinely feel sorry for Arsenal Wenger, honestly, because at the, in in final whistle, like you looked, I looked at him in the final whistle, and he looked so dejected, so gutted. Like he really wanted this, and quite frankly, he's let he's let him down. I don't I don't even blame, don't even blame the Wenger man for once. I'm not even gonna blame him. It's just the players, he played good, but. Quite frankly, wasn't good enough, bro. Only one shot on target. 60, 57 crosses across both legs. Fuck. It's mad. It's absolutely mad. It's emotional. Gotta live with it. As I said, you have to remember, we're Arsenal fans. Not everything, not everything comes easy. And yeah, obviously, I'll see you, see you in, in the next video. Obviously, like and subscribe. I don't even give, give a shit, man. Just like and subscribe, share it about. And yeah, see you guys later.